Hi guys! It's not Wednesday, but I'm Linda and you're watching Project Excellent. So thanks for all the well wishes. I am home, I am safe, and it only took me 28 hours on a bus to get home. A week late. So this week we're talking about insecurities. So I am basically insecure about everything. Like, every single thing that I'm good at, I find faults with. And I'm, whatever I do, I kind of feel like I'm pretending, like I'm putting on a show and faking. And I actually do live in constant fear of being found out because I'm not as fabulous as some people might think I am. While I might believe people who say that I'm awesome and all these wonderful things and that I've done something well or that I'm good at something, I believe them. But I also think that in the end they're going to find out that it wasn't awesome, it wasn't great and I was only faking it and, you know. I really have no meaningful way of dealing with my insecurities. Instead I kind of, I seem to enjoy this kind of self-harm and any form of success. I feel like I've gotten away with something and pretended well enough. Like that that's all the only thing I'm good at. Now I know that I think this way and you know now that I know that I think this way because I've just told you. But that doesn't make it any easier. Like, I'm completely unable to do anything about my situation. Like, I don't have any meaningful way of dealing with the way that I think and the way I treat myself, really, because it's not very nice. Um, and if I look back over a long enough period of time, I can see that I've grown and I've developed and I've become a better person or better at something. But it's still coupled with like any form of success is coupled with failure so there's always something to negate anything positive that I do yeah I'm basically waiting for everybody to see through me because I don't trust in my own ability sounds bad but it's true I'm trying to be honest here the only people whose expectation I try to live up to are other people's. I have huge expectations on myself, but somehow I don't try to live up to them because I don't expect I will be able to. Does that make sense? It's true though. I am insecure about a lot of things. And I have no way of dealing that I could possibly put into words, and I have no advice, really. I wish I was as hands-on with my insecurities as Adam is, and I wish I was as level-headed with my insecurities as Brian is, um, but I'm not. I'll try and learn from those two. I think I can. So I wrote this up. I'm going to put it up on the Project Excellent blog, you know the address by now. You can read it in its entirety there. And thanks for all the well wishes. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. And don't forget to follow me to my channel. It's right there. And I'll see you on Wednesday. I promise this week I will be there on Wednesday. Bye!